What is going on guys? Back in the cave once again and I am a little behind on my 2022 content. Awesome way to start the new year. So let's just jump right into this. Tamiya, Tamiya, however you want to say it. Land Freeder Quad Track TTO2 FT. That is a mouthful in itself. Let's talk about this truck, shall we? Now, I know we've seen quite a bit of this on the channel lately. This is one of the latest trucks in the Trail Critter stable. And uh, during the build video, I did say it'd be kind of interesting to see how this truck would compete with a TRX-4 with tracks. And as I was building it, I started realizing that these trucks are very different, which shouldn't come to any surprise. Uh, I believe in my video I said that uh, be, maybe it would do like a tug of war type track versus track truck and then I quickly changed my mind and I'll get to that in a minute on why that is. So let's dive right into this what I like about this truck what I don't like about this truck and why I'm choosing not to compare it to a TRX 4 with tracks. What I like about the truck is it actually has tracks. Now my stable of trucks we do not have any track vehicles my teammate however does have the trx4 with tracks so this was an alternative to that uh i know there's plenty of aftermarket tracks out there and i've heard horror stories about it knowing that tamiya has a line of tanks i figured they kind of have experience with building tracks um so i took a gamble and this is one of the trucks my son wanted so there is that going for it. Now, how does it go through the snow? Well, pretty good for the most part. Uh, it goes a lot of places where trucks with tires have issues, which is a plus. But where it, it has issue is one lack of, I guess, wheel speed or track speed in this case. Uh, the truck does come with a 35 turn motor, uh, which is fine. I mean, I I believe Tamiya wants this to be like your your trail truck, not really uh, your high speed type truck, you know. So it's kind of got like a crawler motor in it. Uh, it's just, just this typical 35 turn, nothing special, rebuildable motor. Um, but that's sort of where it kind of has its downfall. Um, when you get into certain levels of snow, you kind of want that that track speed to kind of claw your way through and uh on 2s which is what i've been running this truck on uh it just seems to be lacking now others have put 3s batteries in this truck and it seems to perform a little bit better i have 3s batteries but however they do not fit in this truck at this time so i don't have any experience with the 3s level i guess of this truck so another thing I like about the truck is its lightness. It is a lot lighter than uh, trucks I'm used to and definitely a lot lighter than a TRX-4 with tracks. Now I know I said I wasn't really going to compare the two, but this is actually a, both a pro and a con. Pro being that it is light, you, I find it gets a little bit better run time because it's not moving these big heavy tracks. Uh, so you, I've been running the 5000 milliamp 2S batteries in it and it gets decent run now this is going to vary based on temperature so what we were getting on this truck was about two hours in in the winter um which is not horrible but it can be better uh, typically in the summertime uh our other trucks are getting three three and a half hours so it's not doing bad granted like i said this truck is a lot lighter than our other trucks now the downside to its being being so light is we find that when it does get into the deep snow, uh, it can't sink down. And I believe this is, one, because of its weight, and two, because it is basically a pan chassis or a tub chassis. So this essentially turns into like a toboggan, not allowing these tracks to drop down into the snow. So that is another reason we're not choosing not to compare the two. Uh, a TRX for the tracks themselves. I believe two of them, just the tracks were almost the weight of this entire truck, which is crazy. So this is why we're not going to do a tug of war. Uh, it just wouldn't be a fair fight. Now, one of the other questions I get is how well does it handle? And well, 
I can only compare it to the trucks I have and trucks I've been on the trails with. Um, steering wise, being that it is a short truck, it is about the same as a TRX four wheel tracks. Uh, it doesn't have the, the steering angle like a normal TTO two does. Um, I believe it's limited to there. That that's it. That's as far as it turns. So it turns about the same. Now a TRX four does have more steering angle. However, being a long truck, it kind of evens itself out. Remember, this is a short truck in comparison. Now let's talk about the tracks themselves. What are they built out of? Well, plastic. Um, and that's not a bad thing. Now, I've heard of other manufacturers' tracks that being made of rubber, and over time they stretch and start to rip and break. These are held in with, with metal pins in their plastic links. And on that note, Tamiya gives you lots and lots of plastic extra links. Crap, why'd I do that? So I do like the fact that Tamiya does give you lots of these extra little track pieces. Now, I, I hope that that's just not an indication of saying, hey, you're probably going to break these in the extreme cold weather. Or they're just giving you options to change the tracks, which we're going to touch base on in a second. Um, now, I've heard of other manufacturers' tracks being made of rubber and them stretching and falling off. These don't appear to be doing that. Like I said, they do link together and they are plastic, like so, right? And they have rubber pads on the ends. So on the note of the tracks, we do have these set up for winter driving, as I call it. We went with the grouse tracks, the, the soft, according to the manual where it allows us to dig through soft surfaces like snow and mud. Now, in my build video, I did ask, I wonder how easy it would be to change these. And this is where a pro and a con comes. Now, pro being that these things are made of plastic and held together individually with metal pins, um, makes it a little bit of a pain in the arse. Now, uh, other manufacturers with rubber tr tracks they they experience stretching and falling off now i don't see these things stretching obviously because they're plastic and i don't think they will fall off but being that this truck is set up for snow if i wanted to change it to run down the trails in the summer i gotta disassemble all of these links and put the flat tracks on and i don't think i really want to do that and i don't know many people that would Whereas the other manufacturers, I'm going to use the Traxxas TRX4 because that is the one I have the experience with, is if we wanted to go from the aggressive track on that truck, all we have to do is take the rubber off and put the, the flat rubber on. And then that's it. You're off and running. So pro and con, do you really feel like taking all these trucks apart, or tracks apart, I should say, and reassembling them all and over time how how are they going to hold up to constantly being taken apart these things are only held in with like a little plastic lip i believe over time that's just going to start breaking and you're probably not going to change them uh very often but it, it's there the option is there now what you should not expect this truck to do is be your rock crawling truck this is not that now a TRX forward tracks is also not that. And a lot of people seem to get that mixed up, but that's a completely different topic. We're talking about this guy. Where it falls on the trails is its ground clearance. Now, certain types of snow, like light fluffy snow, it is fine. It'll just plow right through that. Now, if you get some packing snow, some deep packing snow, this thing turns into a toboggan or a sled. Uh, it does beach itself and can't dig down and get traction on the ground so there is that so it just gotta be where it is a smaller truck now if you watch my dirt church video i'll pop it up there uh you will see that this truck actually goes a lot of places that most would expect it not to go uh snowy covered hills it makes look easy compared to trucks with tires uh but i think that's just the track thing in general uh, that's sort of the idea behind a tracked vehicle is to just kind of be that snowmobile to go through the snow. And it, it it was quite entertaining watching these high 
horsepower trucks struggle to get traction going up these hills. We're talking like 3S, 4,700 kV brushless powered trucks just sitting there spinning. And then you got this little guy just kind of coasts up there. Well, I shouldn't say that. All the trucks with tracks just kind of coasted up there. So if you're on the fence on what track vehicle you get, well, this is a great option in my opinion. Now I did put most of the bearings in it. I did not put uh, bearings in the tracks themselves. I believe there was like 92 bearings in total for this kit and that's just expensive. I chose to opt uh, to keep the bushings in the tracks just for maintenance purposes. This is good. truck's probably gonna be ran in this winter time in the snow. I don't see it getting much trail use in the summer because I don't feel like taking these tracks apart. So if you have are on a budget, go with a get yourself a land freeder. Uh, if you're looking for your all around purpose, all season truck, and you have the budget, get yourself a TRX4 with the tracks if you're looking for that that snow performance, we'll say. So what is next for the old land freeder here? Well, we're gonna start tinkering with it. We're gonna not really push it to its limits because we're not gonna go anything crazy. I don't believe that durability of these tracks will handle any high KV motor, nor do I want to do that. I think the truck could do just fine on like a 2800 KV motor and just kind of skim along. Uh, I am interested in getting it out on 3S and uh, giving it a little more track speed, we'll call it. And uh, as of this recording, there is a big snowstorm coming, so I am excited for that. So hopefully we'll get out on the trails and we'll get some more run footage of this. This truck is leading to another truck coming down the pipe from Tamaya, and uh, you'll just have to wait and see what that is. So anyways, guys. I hope you found this video uh, informative. If not, if, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to send them to me, comment down below, email me, and uh, that is all. So, stay safe out there, and as always, happy trails.